Hello and welcome to the risk talk. <laughs> so, um, so there's a translate document in Phasology. Do you know about this? No, I don't. Can you, so apparently there's a document or a tool in Phasology. You're taking a look right now. You're sharing your screen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I sure am. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull, I'll pull that off. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so the, you are essentially going to do a translate of mm -hmm. what comes out of Phasology. And I think it translate to the S, translates to the SPDX list. Okay. I'm not familiar with this. And if it's not on the list, then there's a no assertion declaration. Okay. So we just changed it to no assertion instead of no warranty. Yeah. Okay. I can do that quickly. Okay. But again, you'll have to look for this translate list. Like it takes, you know how Phasology, the scanners don't always out give you the results in SPDX form. Yeah. And just translating those. Like if you have a BSD three clause, whoops. Um, just using this translate tool or document, I'm not sure what it is, to see if this is actually an SPDX license. Okay. Um, and we right now we just put it up against the list of SPDX licenses by short name. Okay. Yeah, I'll see. I'll, I'll look at that now. Yeah, look around. I'm not, I'm not familiar with it myself. Okay. All right. Uh, the next item on the agenda, uh, back to the agenda is um, looking at, and Matt, you just reviewed the SBOM in implementation as well. So, uh, well, that's what you just did. And I suppose what we should do next is just review the spreadsheet and where we're at on there. So the SBOM yeah. implementation is now the SPDX implementation. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, we, we have the word SBOM. Yeah, we have it under the name SPDX document pretty much everywhere now. And I just got it to, uh, it actually took a couple <laughs> characters and that was it, but I got it to pretty print JSON. So it looks be a lot better than just one line now. Okay. Hey, full screen, thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. It's uh, not my fault. It's the technology. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. So the those of you playing along with the home game, home game means that uh, yellow is, these are things we're focusing on. So CI best practices badge. Um, we have a pretty good definition for that, that we're moving through. Average issue resolution time and issue volume are two metrics that we're looking to define as is code complexity, and I believe I have the to-dos to draft issue volume and average issue resolution time. Is CII best practices done? Is it in a pull request? Mm. Matt? Well, I, we, I've been looking at that pull request, um, and it looks like it's all done. It just needs to be populated so I can fix the front end, which would take about five minutes. No, I'm talking about actually issuing the metric pull request. I the thought we oh, done sorry. That. Um, we've got yeah. nine pull requests open. Matt, I fixed it since we had talked about it. I think the only issue was DCO, which I had yeah. some trouble fixing. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, let's go to, okay. So I'm gonna jump over to our pull requests, which you can see that I'm doing, uh, actually, since I'm sharing my screen. And Matt updated this to include the content of the pull request. Change. That's actually an older one. I have a most recent one that has actually that might be the one with all the changes. My bad. This should be like if your if your fork is not been blown away, this just updates when yeah, your fork updates. Yeah. So, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's one of those things that you come to really comprehend the hard way when you delete your fork before your pull request is merged. Which should have done.
Man, is this the, I mean, I think this is in pretty good, pretty good shape. Yeah, it's missing one. So a couple things. One, um, get rid of the, so scroll up. Get rid of the, the numbers before like description and objectives. Okay. Got it. And then does this currently have a question associated with it? I don't see one. No, I don't think I have any questions in there. Uh, Let's take a look and see. Do you have this in a Google Doc? It would be, so, it's it'd up be here really on this link. if we could just work on this in a Google Doc. I'll drop it in the chat. Okay. Um, if I can find the chat while I'm sharing screens. There we go. There is a Google Doc. A lot of the most recent updates are done in Markdown, so it would have to be transferred back to the Google Doc. Yeah, it's just so much easier if we work in a Google Doc. Oh, there's my chat. Of course, it's over there. Why wouldn't it be? All right, I just shared the Google Doc that Matt okay. has of the issue that you're seeing on my screen. So, so there needs to be a question here. Just a single question, you know, goal question metric. Mm -hmm. um, so th um, yeah, this is really old. Um, yeah, maybe the Google Doc isn't. Uh, but what we could do is take the pull request. Can you do that? Bring it. I sure can. Okay. I have the technology. Um, I think what I have to do is bounce all over the place. Open this, and then new tab. Which will leave this open. Jump here. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Okay. Is this, is this what we wanted? Yep. All right. So then we need somebody put the name. CI best practices. Metric here. Mm -hmm. Question. So Matt, could you? What's the name of the metric? CI. CI best practices. Is it best practices badge or best practices? Um, it is best. It is. It is the badge. It is. Uh, it, I guess if you wanted to get oh, the most descriptive thing would be to say uh, CII best practice badge status, because that's exactly what this is. Well, it includes more than the status, though. I, I sorry, I was muted. I was saying compliance was my. Mm -hmm. um, just called the CII best that. practices badge, and so okay. does this have a question? Does this have a question associated with it? What, what is, is the badge the, status? What is the current um, badge progress level for this project? And there can there are there's badged silver and gold. Okay. All right. Um, what's the implementation visualizations? That'll be three of those tools providing the metric. Example data collection strategies. I don't necessarily say best practices status instead of badge status because it does have a lot more to do than the, just the badge. All right, well, just change it then. Okay. Badge badge is the prize that people are looking for, though. But I'm cool with changing it because I'll dive into the new show and talk about it all day long. Okay, so let's take a look at the description really fast. I think Kevin had actually contributed this from the um, CII website when he looked over the original Google Doc. Okay. Matt, are you okay with this objective? 
That looks fine to me. Okay. Um, all right, so one of the things we've talked about is so what, Matt, what is this under implementation? Um, that's where I get a little more granular and explain how do you do a get request to get the information from their API. Okay. okay. We've been getting rid of these. Okay. Just only because it might be right, right now. But we're right. just trying to provide insight into. Well, we can refer to them to the API's documentation if that would make it more high level. Probably so. Yeah. Why don't you do that? If you could include that. Yeah, that we were not committing to whatever the current implementation is. Yeah, we've been trying to back away from putting like source code of any sort into these metrics. Just for that very reason. I'm going to have the same response to some of the stuff that's in data collection strategies. That's probably about as granular as it gets, and uh, it's just some sample data, but I understand what you mean. Yeah, so I don't know if there's another way, um, kind of like what you're doing right now, if there's any way to represent the data collection strategies. I honestly think that, would go, that could go into the API documentation as well. Okay. So maybe, you could almost just repeat that line, you know, again, CCII's documentation strategies. Tools providing the metric. Um, Georg, does Grimoire Lab do any CII stuff? No, we do not. Okay. Not yet. Not yet, exactly. <laughs> um, it's not hard. Once you guys dig it, you'll realize it's uh, kind of low hanging fruit. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. They're much cleaned up. Very much cleaned up. Matt, if you update your fork with that, we could even potentially accept that today. Were there any other comments from people on the line? Georg, did you have? I'm proposing right now a change to rather than have the URL here for the API to have it, the actual work linked to it. OK. I think we'll have the same issue below. Yeah. So that's what I'm proposing. OK, that's fine just to clean it up even more. Yep, that's great. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I guess Kevin, or Kevin, Matt, you had said Kevin had pulled some of this stuff, you think, from the CII? Uh, he was editing <coughs> from the Google Doc, and he had said, he had mentioned in a comment that some of that, um, the, I think it was only the description, the objectives were from CII. Okay. So I think if we have this text, we might want to indicate that it's from CII. Yeah, I found it. I'll put it in the chat. It's on the front page. So okay, if this is the actual it. text. I think we should. Um, 
something like as. Something like that. How do you do this? Like that, I'm like that. <coughs> yeah, that's, uh, yep, that's exactly it. Am I doing it right? I mean, yeah, okay. yep, that's it, right there. All right. Just to give credit where credit's due, that's all. That's fair. Do we need the explanation of how the criteria work in the second paragraph? Like what, what do you, what's the? The hmm. whole thing, met, unmet, and a unknown hmm. must should hmm. suggest future. Oh, like do we even need it is your question. Yes. Probably not. I'd say those could go in data collection strategies if they actually have a place in the document. Um, because that's the kind of stuff that you're looking at when you're looking at the actual data. So if it was gonna move, so that would be the description at that point. Just a way for open source projects. Yeah. To show that they follow best practice. That's the that's the description. Fair enough. And then is this what you're talking about, Matt? I just put it down below. <clears throat> yes. Actually, that's fine. That's a fine level of detail without getting super crazy. Is that also, where'd you get that? Is that did you write that? No, uh, I think that's the other, it's part of the top section that Kevin got. <clears throat> it sounds very much like it's from the page. I just, I added another. Yeah. <laughs> I had in the chat, I have, uh, I had the, the link to the front page where you can find all those, all that text basically. Okay. We've made a couple edits to it, but. I, I mean, I'm totally happy just reusing that text. It makes all the sense in the world, but. Yeah. Okay, any other comments? All right, I'm gonna mark this one done. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it over then. Yeah, and then issue it as a pull request. And actually, hold on, before you do that, this has got to be that. You see what I did? <clears throat> Just the title has to be like a, and maybe we call it core infrastructure initiative. Do you see what I did? Matt? Got it. Okay. Hey, that's the first uh, to be released metric from risk. Well, for this release. Yeah, for this release. Yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Matt, for putting this together and implementing it. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, hey, and actually with DNI earlier today, there were two, so that's three today total. It's a, it's a productive day. Very productive day. So, Sean, are there others that are on this list that are kind of like that? There are others on the list, but none that are in the position of having a pull request. Okay. Um, prepared. If I go back to the back to get out of the pull request is submitted, by the way. Thanks. And, uh, is, um, <laughs> updated. You just updated your current one, yeah. Can you put it in the minutes? So are we all good um, accepting this pull request? I am.
I'm okay. Good for with me. One down. Go back to the. So mm -hmm. before we move on to the next item on the agenda, yeah. uh, we have a guest, Nick, from the Open Source Initiative on the call. Hi, Nick. Uh, because I invited him for the item on open source metric. Yeah, so the OSI all this status. Up. Hi, George. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Thank you, for for thank you for having me. <laughs> no, thanks for taking the time to come. Come on, no come worries. every two weeks. We, we're always here. Yes, I, I believe I met many of you in KSCon Vancouver last year. Likely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I remember that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, so did you Nick, go ahead. Sorry. Go for it. I was ahead, just George. to yeah. give an introduction saying that um, oh. Nick <laughs> and I and Patrick and Daniel, we talked at the All Things Open conference uh -huh. about the idea of having a metric, an open source metric around whether projects have OSI approved licenses. And the idea is to <laughs> then also have some shared marketing around this metric between OSI and Chaos, uh, because OSI is interested in, well, obviously promoting <laughs> that project use open source metric uh, licenses. And for us, we talked about this two weeks ago. It seemed to be fairly easy to implement. I think Matt did it, didn't you, Matt? Yeah, I can show guys that now if you want. Yeah, he did. Please do that. Nick, can you see the screen? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Okay. So um, I guess the main motivation behind this is that probably you guys are aware that uh, there, there have been a few companies that have uh, created non-OSI compatible licenses. Yep. So Open source pretend. Yeah, yeah exactly. And so this, this metric would be a way to, to uh, reaffirm that all projects uh, have an OSI approved license and that they're compatible. Uh, if we get something that it's not compatible, they can, this can uh, cause legal problems for whoever is uh, distributing this or whoever is uh, releasing this as a software. So this is a, I think it's a trivial change, but an important one as well. And I added a few links for you guys. Uh, number five, the eating number five. Uh, I know you, that you guys are using SpeedX, but the OSI, we also provide an API in case you guys want to look at that. Or if you guys want to uh, perhaps study clearly defined, I'm not sure if you heard of that I project. Have, I have heard of it, yeah. Yeah, it's a very uh, promising project. It's quite new, but it's growing a lot. And perhaps you might want to check that as well and see <laughs> that can help uh, the chaos team. Um, so I, I just put that up there. In, in, what is clearly defined to, do? Excuse me? What does clearly <laughs> defined do? Oh, so we had some metadata, metadata to different projects mm -hmm. uh, with all kinds of information, uh, all the way from lessons, what kind of lessons does it have, uh, and also security-related metadata. Everything that we, uh, the name uh, kind of defines what is it. We, we're mm -hmm. trying to clearly define a project or a piece of code and make sure that that code is secure, that it has an OSI approved license and <laughs> other, other types of metrics. So this might be a, a, a nice way for the chaos team to collaborate with clearly defined and see if there's a way for, or for collaboration. Is there an API? 
Yeah, uh, it's very API driven. Uh, okay. If if you go to, I have the link there. Clean yeah, I'm on the site. Dot io. Yeah. Uh, you can look around. Uh, the person behind this uh, is Carol Smith from Microsoft. Okay. Uh, she's also with the OSI board. And if you guys want to talk with her, feel free to ask me and I'll okay. put you guys in touch. Um, so clearly defined, it provides license information, did you say? Not just license information, all kinds of metadata yep. around projects. But also security information? Yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, that would be great because in the, I can tell you in the <clears throat> chaos project, um, if somebody else has done the work, <laughs> we're happy to just, use it. Yeah, we're happy to use it. <laughs> so if yeah. it's a way yeah. to bring that forward to people, great. And we're happy to collaborate. So yeah. I, I actually don't know much about the Clearly Defined. All I know uh -huh. is that Carol Smith, uh, she's behind that. Yeah. And she knows all about it. They also have a very good collaboration with, with GitHub. Yep. And they're working on on adding that kind of metadata to all projects <clears throat> there. So, so. That's great. Anyway, anyways, thanks for hearing, guys. <laughs> yeah. So did you see your screen? Yeah. Yeah, I you see, see the it. screen share, so there's there's already mm -hmm. data that we're Oh yeah, nice. So ninety nine dot seventy seventy percent. These are these are projects on the Zephyr project which tends yeah. to be license aware. Yeah, this one is Rails Rails. Um, oh it is. No, no, this one is a smaller mm -hmm. Zephyr project. I think this one is either Zephyr or Rails Rails. But uh, I'm so. looking around at a bunch of different projects and yeah. normally they have like upwards of ninety percent, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't really seen a lot that have lower than 90%, but that kind of that, that spread of where they kind of lie on the spectrum is also very important to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Th thank you very much for implementing that. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah. So Matt, I have a, a one question and then a comment. So is this showing the OSI approved licenses for, um, so if a, if a project had one license identified, and it was OSI, then it would say 100%, is that right? Yes, uh, I think it has to be taken into factor with license coverage as well. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Why, so why, why would on the upper one, why would light files with the declared license be 7430 and the total for the percent OSI be 7052? There are three not OSI approved, so some seventy forty nine plus three is seventy fifty two. Yep. Um, so on the above on the above box though, license coverage. I think that's probably that there are some um, some of the no assertion kind of probably, yeah. licenses that that kind of show up as a license but don't show up as anything specific, and mm -hmm. there's more than that show up in the no assertion category in the end. Okay. Uh, one of the big plans I have for the. Um, both OSI approved and um, the license count is to add information on um, where you're going to be able to find the files, which I think is very valuable. Like mm -hmm. it tells you what the percentage is, but it doesn't tell you right now where those files are, or what the licenses related are. So I'm planning to do that as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. So does does clearly defined show that does it show the license coverage we might have to look at this a little bit matt yeah yeah i will so, yeah so clearly defines a, a really big project um uh, i'm happy to connect you with carol so she knows okay. more about it um i'm actually putting ignorance <laughs> of it <laughs> but if yeah, you we'll, if you we'll kind of look. look at it yeah yeah we'll take a look at it uh -huh. thanks yeah. i just wanted to bring you bring this to your attention yeah and i also want to apologize patrick uh he wanted to come to this meeting but i believe he's traveling back from europe uh today so uh, he wasn't able to uh, okay. attend the meeting yeah, no problem so one of the links that you shared nick is uh 
also that the OSI is providing a JSON with yeah, the proof yeah, placement? Yeah, we have an API for a very long time. And all licenses <coughs> here, uh, OSI approved, they're listed here. But I think it's similar to SpeedX. I, I couldn't see, um, I don't know much about SpeedX. I, I heard about it, of course, but I mm -hmm. don't know what are, the, what are the differences. But if you guys are using SpeedX, uh, please do go ahead and continue using that. Yeah, we are using it. And it's mm -hmm. a pretty good way of kind of representing yeah. the data. Yeah. I just wanted to bring your attention to this. Yeah. But, uh, and we're always happy to collaborate. Yeah. So Matt, I might might be worth just checking out the kind of data that's in the API. Okay. I can do that today. Yeah. I'll get back to you guys. I'm curious. I have a couple of curiosities. One is what's the scanner that's behind clearly defined. How current is the data of clearly defined API? <clears throat> so uh, clearly Define is a really big project. I think we received like half a million dollars of investments <laughs> around this project. I don't wow. know I don't know how uh, how it works, but I know there are many companies involved. So Microsoft, GitHub, uh, Facebook is also looking into that. Uh, Google <laughs> Amazon. So we have a, a lot of traction. And, but to be honest, I, I have to study this as well. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Let's get maybe, some valuable data. Maybe we can see if Carol Smith has time to talk with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has time to join one of our list meetings. Yeah. I'll, I don't want to deviate from your meeting. So I'll just put this as a test for myself to put you, put you guys in touch with Carol and see if she can provide okay. an overview of Clearly Defined. Uh, I, I don't want to disturb you guys. <laughs> That'd be great. No, uh, yeah, it would be. I think, is, there, is it all API based? So we're using Plusology as our for mm -hmm. a scanner from Plusology yeah. to pull this information out. And I can see that you're using scanner code in Plusology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to think about if there's an API that's reasonably current mm -hmm. for a, a reasonably broad number of projects, and I suspect that's where an API might be limited. So, like, if I want to scan any repository, you're probably not persisting the entirety of GitHub this way. Although, if GitHub does it, then there's less reason for us to scan the repo itself, right? Yeah, I, I believe it's. <clears throat> The, the, the idea here is to, to have a really strong partnership with all of those big companies, Microsoft, GitHub, uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google. And so it will be very up to date, the, all the metadata around it. That would be a nice source of data to include in our tools. Yeah, I think connecting with Carol would be great. A great step. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it'd be awesome. And it could be inside the context of this discussion, mm -hmm. or we could set up a separate time depending yeah. on her schedule. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. I think it would be a benefit to the chaos community if, if she fit, if her schedule fit one of our meetings. But mm -hmm. I think we can schedule a special meeting as well. Mm -hmm. So perfect. I was going to suggest from this discussion. That... <clears throat> Thank you. We lost that. Um. Did anyone else close, Matt? Oh, I'm here. I'm back. Oh, yeah. So, oh, welcome back. What were you um, suggesting? Well, I, I was going to say that we should probably just have another metric, which is OSI coverage. So, yeah, I think we can um, create a separate metric. Right now, the pull request 61 is proposing it as a, a filter, but oh, okay. I. I agree we can have it be its own derived metric basically because I think it has enough importance that it's not it's more than a filter in yeah opinion. that's what I was I didn't know it was proposed as a filter but I thought it was pretty important to not to get it out in front of people 
I think the way the maths implemented it was it looked really nice. The percentage. Yeah. So that's why it was looking at you, Matt. I think actually putting that forward would be pretty straightforward. Yeah. So uh, maths implemented that, right? Did they get yeah, the new ones correct? That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are two maths. Yeah. The other yeah. Lab. Okay. <laughs> okay. The, they're in the same lab, so we call it the MAT lab. Variety. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Trouble, man. Yeah. So when you take a look in the chat, is that's how I had thought. Okay. We could do it, but I agree. Mm -hmm. A much better approach would be to have the open source metric be a separate metric. Yeah, I like that idea. Great. Matt, I can work on that with you. Sounds good. Okay. Also, um, awesome. I found a, um, just for context, this is a clearly defined API call. It's really fast on, um, in, on everything NPM and their licenses. Uh, if you go into curations, it's just all their licenses declared from the NPM repositories. It's pretty nice. I see that, yeah. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna add this in the list though. Um, what are we calling this, open source metric? Open, open source initiative, OSI license metric. Isn't that what this is? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think, Nick? We've been calling it the open source metric. I think so I, I, think I'll, I think I'll ask Patrick about it. Uh, if it's too big, we can have just OSI approved. Yeah, that um, would. Yeah, we like we like metrics that have clearly understood names. Oh, okay. yeah. The open source <laughs> metric might be a little grandiose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's all the only one you need, this whole chaos project. Unnecessary, one metric does the whole thing. Yeah, I think whatever you guys think is good. <clears throat> I just, yeah. in the spreadsheet, I call yeah. it OSI approved license metric or OSI approved licenses. That yeah. seems pretty clear. <laughs> okay. <Thank> you. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me, I'm having nasally things today. Let me see that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Nick. Thank you, George. You yeah. want to add or bring up or discuss with us? Mm -hmm. Th thank you for having me. I'll let Patrick know uh, about this. Uh, I apologize again. And I'll reach out to Carol and see if she yeah, can. That would be great. Uh, she can do a special meeting with you guys. Great. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so I, did we have any other, that was great. Um, um there was, some, I was right. jumping to something else, but, um, let me find my, your place. Yeah. Any, oh, start code complexity metric. Was that it? Yeah. And I think we're working on that. Well, I, mean, I could help you with that, Matt. Like, I could, we could, we could probably like. I mean, um, actually, I could show you what some code complexity data looks like. I think. Again, these metrics are at this point they're 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 meant to be fairly easy to put forward. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you know, I think, yeah. Like, what is code complexity? Why do we want to? Why do we care about code complexity? <laughs> what are we yeah. to do it? I mean, that's well, it. Yeah, that would be pretty uh, easy to put forward. You want me to take that one? Yes, I'm going to put your name on that. All right. Thank you, sir. May I have another? That's right. Code complexity. Sean, don't forget the new template. I thought you guys were cleaning up all the templates. Well, yeah. I mean, but yeah. if you're starting a new one, just use the mm -hmm. template. Yeah, make sure you use the template. And I've already cleaned up the all the templates. They're all done. Yeah, and I, I cleaned up evolution, so there are no extra. Oh, are, they, are they all done? Yeah, yeah all, the, all the old templates are gone. Thank you. Uh, was, Carter and I had a hack a couple weeks ago. Just went to town on it. Because I was confused. 
And I think that that was the last material item because they're still they're still testing metrics that were in the business of developing, but I'm still in the discovery phase on that in terms of technically how to how to climb that mountain. Well, actually, to me, this would be great because I think a couple of things would be two new met one metric got done, mm -hmm. two new metrics are on the table. Yeah. Then we have this. I think Matt, you should check out clearly defined and see what's in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it sounded like there were a few things that might actually be revealing for risk. Yeah, because the security, like vulnerability resolution and stuff like that is really important right now. And there's yeah, not much of a way to measure that. If that's in there, but then also to Sean's point, like what the coverage is. Yeah. On the API. Sean. And that's, yeah, and that's really, that's more of a technical question. You know, yeah, no, that's fair. Do we continue to invest in doing this yep. ourselves if there's something? So Matt, I would kind of put that in your camp too to kind of just take a look at what's in clearly defined. Got it. Cool. I think, I mean, looking at the results of the API, they, they do not have the same level of granularity because we go down to the file level and I'm, there's a lot of GitHub hashes here. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is the, I guess that is the file level possibly, but. A lot of the granularity I found was in pull requests. Or issues. There's a, yeah, there's a spider web in this API that, I mean, we should look at the docs. Maybe okay. maybe see if you can find the docs before you dive in too hard, Matt. Because yeah, I have the docs open. Mm -hmm. I'll I can prepare some kind of quick notes to show everybody next time. So and then Sean, can you take a look at the pull requests outstanding on risk? They're just updating yeah. the template. Yeah, I started to do that actually. I mean they should be in this other thing. Merge, 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 merge. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's where I was headed when we last we Sorry, I just find that. I'll share my screen again so we can process these together. Believe you that you're doing it? No, I mean, it's just, you know. Observe you doing it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So just like soft, starting with software bill of materials, that actually has to be renamed, I think, at this point. Yeah. We need so to I'm going to gonna start at the bottom. That's Update fine. test coverage. Merge pull request. Because these are just formatting changes, am I right? Yep, that's it. I may and I may have removed like some of the, the every now and then I would go yada yada. Yeah. Yeah, the bit, yeah, this all looks good to me. <coughs> I mean, these are the kinds of things that oops. I mean, thank you for the pop up calendar. These are really the light these are all are repetitive, really like really normal. And if we have to do little changes at the end, we can. Yeah, I think we were, we need to like, like you said, they're just formatting changes. and making the content consistent across all of the, mm -hmm. you know, the de-technicalize. De is de-technicalizing a phrase? It is. It is now, it's copyright shot guiding, it's trademark right. actually. If you use de-technicalizing, you own the dollar. You can. Sure, it's not gonna make money. Not. So this week I'm gonna go through, I'll go through all the repositories again. I'm just gonna kind of make sure that everybody's all right, so this one I'm not going to merge because I think, or well, Matt, you want me to merge this and then change the name of it later? Well, we, I mean, I should take a look at the files changed really fast. Because there's, we got to change this just to be like. Yeah. I'm going to leave this one outstanding. Uh, unless you want to merge it so that other people can edit this. It's up to you. If you want to basically, if you can keep this pull request open. I'll, I'll edit it. I'll okay. take it. I'll, cause it just needs to be changed over to SPDX. 
if they add open source metric, I think here we so that one that we're gonna make a new metric. Make a new metric, right? So I'm not gonna Yeah, I can that close one. it. What's your call? Create funding YML. <clears throat> oh. I'm all for me. I'm okay with that. Adds, too. We have it on the metrics repo and the governance repo. So there's a proposal to also put on the working group repo. So these are, I mean. If you want to see how it looks, uh, go uh, to the can, chaos slash metrics repo. And does it show all these different ways of contributing? No, that's just the template file. It will only show community bridge because that's the only one with the value. Okay, then that's perfect. I was, I was when I saw all those things listed there. I had a brief concern that um, we would be displaying like twelve different ways to fund us, and all that would do is confuse people. But that, but that's not what's happening. Then oh, I think it's good. Apparently, there was no review, so. So now that here. it's merged, if you refresh, you will have a sponsor button at the top. Ooh. You see that? The heart sponsor? Aw, oh. that's so cute. Yeah. And so now people can go and sponsor on Community Bridge. I love that. Wow, I want to should add that to Augur. Just add that to everything. Yeah, <laughs> all I mean all your class projects, all just everything. Show me four dollars. <laughs> That's excellent. Thanks for doing that, Georg. You're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. And I think that concludes the agenda that I had, that we had prepared. Uh, if there are, no, are there any other topics that people would like to bring up at this I'm time? Good. All right. I am as well. I will see you all in a couple weeks on risk and earlier on other things. I'm sure. Yeah. See you then. Yeah. See Thank ya. You. Bye. Bye.